Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at the Windows Defender error, which is making your games not run, and throwing up all kinds of uh, crazy stuff, very annoying, and I'm upset because Fortnite isn't working. Keep watching to find out how to fix it. Okay, so today's video is going to be primarily down to people that are running Fortnite, but this does cover various other game engines that rely on things like the uh, easy anti-cheat and battle eye services, that kind of thing. The problem is, is Windows in its wisdom is using something called Kernel Mode Hardware Enforced Stack Protection. I had to read that off of my notes there, just to make sure I got it right. And essentially what this does is adds an additional layer of security on your system and basically prevents some unsigned drivers from actually running on your system. Unfortunately, it does appear that sometimes the, these game engines, the anti-cheat software, because it is kind of writing to kernel mode, it does detect it and it flags it as being a bad thing because it's not validated, etc., etc. Anyway, you don't really care about that. All you care about is actually how to fix it. Now, there's going to be three potential fixes, possibly four. The first one is going to be just uninstall and reinstall your game. That is number one. Potentially, you don't want to do that because Fortnite and games like that generally quite a big download, so you may not want to do that. So you may want to skip over to number two. And basically, that is going to be going into Windows and disabling that particular part of the security system. The other option is going to be going into your boss and actually turning off virtualization on your machine. This actually can work very well, actually, for me personally, on my Intel-based machine, actually turning off virtualization, restarting the computer, running Fortnite, then coming out and then turning virtualization back on again, then running Fortnite it actually seems to have cured the problem. So that kind of toggling on and off of the system appears to have done the trick. Now, it may or may not work for you, but obviously if that doesn't work for you, you can just disable virtualization altogether on your machine. Should that be something which you can do? Obviously, if you're running virtual machines or you're relying on software or programs which require virtualization, then potentially that may not be a thing you can actually do, in which case, you're kind of stuck and you're going to have to just temporarily disable it when you want to play your games. Or you can turn off the protection, which we'll take a look at now and show you how to do it. Okay, so on your Windows desktop, uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11, if you go down to the bottom and show your hidden icons and you want to see your Windows security one there, potentially you might find this with uh, asterisk or exclamation by it to say there is a problem anyway, so uh, potentially it'll be down here. So. What you want to do is right click and choose view your security dashboard alternatively you can just go into windows settings and then go into security whichever way you want to go to it the same thing will apply so what we want to choose is either device security from here or you can choose it from the left side panel either way absolutely fine and what we've got is core isolation so this is where uh, core isolation basically as it says there helps keep your device safe by protecting the windows kernel i.e protecting it from drivers which may you want to change it to go into core isolation details this is where you can actually disable some of the features so if you want to you can just actually turn off this feature here so this is the kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection system uh, you can read through that essentially it stops malicious code running so you may or may not want to do this but you can if you want to you can just click on there and you can basically disable it it will require a restart to apply those changes so again depending what you're doing, you may want to do it straight away or may you want to do it later. I'm going to go into our BIOS now, so let's restart the computer. If you're not too sure how to get into your BIOS, there's various ways of doing it. You can hold down the shift key whilst clicking on power, then restart and keep holding the shift key and you can get the option to boot into UFI. Or for most PCs, it's going to be a case of just mashing the delete key until you get into the BIOS. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're actually in our BIOS now. Excuse the fans, they're running a little bit loud. Do need to work on that. So in your BIOS, what you want to do for most modern PCs, you're going to have an option for searching. So there is this little spyglass here. Click on search and then type in vert, as in virtual. You should find it somewhere. If for some reason it doesn't show up on there, you might just have to type in V and have a scroll through. No, can't find it. Bizarrely, on this particular motherboard, it doesn't want to find it. But actually, on my uh, other motherboard, which is from MSI, it finds it straight away if I type in virtual. So, 
I was not liking it. So potentially you might find it in there, you may not. Otherwise you can go into, I think it's an OC setting, yeah, advanced CPU configuration, and you've got SMV mode. So actually maybe if I'd have searched for SMV rather than V, that probably would have found it. So SMV is your virtual machine. So just go into there, choose disabled, click on the X there, do a restart, and then obviously virtualization will be disabled in your system, in that which case that particular part of the security suite cannot activate because it requires on virtualization to run. So that may sort it for you. Again, you can then run Windows, try and open Fortnite, see if it runs. If it does, go back into your BOSS, then re-enable SMV, and you should find that in the majority of cases that will actually fix pretty much everything. So anyway, let's do a reboot and we'll uh, go back into Windows. So there we go, there's a few options for you if you're having problems with Windows Defender being a little bit too overzealous and preventing your games from running purely because of the anti-cheat software. There is some kind of irony in there, I'm sure of it, but anyway, you probably don't care about the irony, all you want to do is play your games, as do I, which I'm going to go off and do right now. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis. Hit subscribe and the chime icon, it's totally free, and you'll get to see videos like this every day in your feed. But I think that's going to wrap things up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.